What's up YouTube? Jeff back again from Semi Guru today and today we're going to take a look at an exciting new feature coming to the now brief and reminders with One UI 8.0. We were playing around over at Semi Guru, our writer Gerwin, who does a great job digging into Samsung apps and finding some cool hidden menus. And he found a hidden menu as it relates to now brief and personalized now brief routine cards in the Routines Plus app. I'm going to show you guys kind of how we uncovered this. It's also cool because you can kind of see behind the scenes of how you could discover some of these kind of hidden menus if that's something that's interesting to you. Um, and then I'll show you guys what they actually look like. They are in Korean for now, so we're going to use some uh, Galaxy Eye translating skills uh, on my S25 Ultra to help us read some of those menus as we go along. Before we get started, do want to remind you guys, make sure you check out our website, samiguru.com. We cover the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. And of course, we did just redesign the website. I'm really proud of the way it looks. We made it look a lot more readable, look a little more in line with One UI design language. If you're in the US, you can also tap our orange banner right here at the top. And you'll be able to get in our mystery box program. You'll be able to get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies as well. Just go ahead and tap on the phone you're interested in, like the Z Fold 7. Put in your phone number, your email, or both. You'll get the affiliate link, our affiliate link to order on launch day. That's how we fund everything. You pay nothing. We cover the shipping. We cover all the items in the box. Guaranteed screen protector for the first time ever in addition to all the other cool items like the case, the cleaning kit, and the desktop phone stand. We already have the S26 launch open as well, even though it's very early. So if that's what you're interested in instead of foldables, definitely check that out. Appreciate you guys checking that out. And let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how we kind of found this. So not going to go through the full tutorial. I actually did a very similar tutorial showing you how you can enable now brief on older devices like your S22, S23, S24, which is not officially supported right now. And so we're going to use a similar method in this video, which uses these two applications, Shizuku and Root Activity Launcher. Now to set up Shizuku, you have to do a pairing process, which then requires you to do a few things in developer options. I'm going to drop the link below to the previous video I made showing how to enable now brief on older devices. That video shows the full step-by-step -step of starting Shizuku. You see, I already have it running right here. Now, once you have Shizuku enabled, you're going to go to the Play Store and download Root Activity Launcher, which is this application right here. And then this application uses Shizuku to launch this hidden activity that will let you see these now brief routine cards, personalized routine cards in the menu. So if we go to Root Activity Launcher, Search for Routine, you're going to find Routines Plus, which is a good lock application. If you don't have it installed, you would need to install Routines Plus to view this. And then you're going to scroll down, make sure you have the newest Routines app. This is in One UI 8 again. So if you're not on the beta, you won't be able to see this. You can just sit back, relax, and kind of check out the new stuff as I go through it in the video. But if you have the One UI 8 beta, technically you could do this yourself. You're going to go through and you're going to find this activity right here, Routine Builder Activity. And what you're going to do is you're going to launch this by hitting this icon over here in Root Activity Launcher. And you'll see this brand new menu, which is the hidden menu we're referring to. And it's in Korean, as I said, but we can discover some of what's going on by using AI Select. So what I'm going to do is use AI Select, and I'm going to draw around some of this Korean text, and I'm going to translate it. Of course, you'll need to download the Korean translation pack to do it. You see, please set the notification repetition condition. So this is going to tell you how often you want it to repeat. Of course, you can see monthly, every week. And if we slide this over, of course, the great thing is you can slide over everywhere. This right here, you can see is every day. You can slide over here and translate all three of those. And you'll see that this one is choose the end date. So you can actually choose a specific date from right there. So that's choosing the repeat condition. Down here, if we translate this, this says, please choose a date to repeat every month. Of course, that just gives you the calendar down here. So all of that pretty much makes a lot of sense. So you're gonna pick a date, all that stuff, let's get out of AI Select. Let's say I pick this, let's say I pick the 11th, the 12th, 13th, the 25th, 26th, and 27th. We'll hit Next. And then you get this menu, which if we select here, we can translate this as well. We will see, choose the time to display the notification, 9 a.m., 6 p.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., direct input, 9 p.m. Let's just select one in this case and continue. And then, once again, this is how I do it. I mean, we're doing it in real time. Like, if I want to learn something, when you find a menu, it's only in Korean. That happens a lot with Samsung. You can use Galaxy Eye. Why not? Select the app to run through the button card. So here, you can type app selection. 
and it's going to give you an app that you can do. So I could say like open calculator and then tap next. So then you're going to get this menu right here, which if we highlight this and translate, select the image to be displayed on the card. When selecting the image, the card name and description will be automatically entered. If you have modified this fine, it will not change. So you can choose, you know, whatever you want for your, you know, choose whatever you want for your card and then go to the next. So then here you can see if you highlight this, we can translate this. Please enter the contents to be displayed on the now brief card and you can put in the details. So here we could put, you know, I don't know. This would just be, because I opened the calculator, not a very interesting one, say, calculate uh, groceries, you know. And then down here, you can edit this. You say monthly grocery bill, whatever you're being reminded to do. And so then this kind of sets up everything. You guys can see the full thing. And if I want, I could translate this whole thing. We kind of have an idea of what it does now, I think, but you can easily translate this whole thing. You guys can see how good AI Select is just by looking at this. See the selected image, open calculator app, tells you when it repeats, the notification setting and all that. And then down here, you can go ahead and set this. And then of course, this isn't fully baked yet, so it's not actually going to necessarily do anything. Uh, it's not necessarily going to work, but uh, you can go through the process of setting it up and you can kind of see what Samsung's working on. So the idea, I think anyway, is that this would then appear in the now brief at those dates and times that you've set up and will remind you to do a specific action, which is pretty cool. We've said that now brief doesn't really do anything personalized, doesn't really help you too much or utilize any of that AI. Well, this could certainly help a little bit. And once it learns what you're doing, AI could then make some suggestions on various things that you might want to add, et cetera, that are personalized to you. So I think Samsung is doing something pretty nice here. And uh, hopefully when it's fully baked, it will be a very useful feature for now brief. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. If you want to try it out, again, you should definitely check out my tutorial below the video where I went through how to install Shizuku completely so you understand how to do it. Check out SammyGuru.com, the mystery box program if you guys are ordering an upcoming device. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.